Hi, my name is Ruby and I go to Youth Care at Highlands and today I'm going to be talking about the Hands On Hands Up series. So in this series we have two responses to life, Hands On and Hands Up. Hands On, we are the hands and feet of Jesus and we do His will by bringing heaven down to earth. And Hands Up, we surrender ourselves to Jesus even though we may not know the outcome. So for me, I surrender myself to Jesus by literally putting my hands up as the title says praying for guidance in a situation or help in an area I'm struggling with. When I surrender, it is hard not to just back away and go, well, this is just a bit too hard for me. I'm going to push it aside and forget it's there. But not knowing the outcome and bu building that trust in Jesus is what can grow your relationship with God. Taking that next step forward is scary. For me, doing this preach is terrifying but I have learned that it will help me grow in the long run. For when you surrender blindly to the Lord, the Lord will answer back with breakthroughs. As I remember back to when I was scared to go to youth, and maybe you might relate to this, it was when my sister was going to youth and my mum would ask me every single week if I wanted to come. And every week I would say no straight away. I was certain that I wouldn't go to youth because I'm shy and introverted, even though, it looked, even though youth looked fun. I realized that I wouldn't wake up one day and suddenly love the idea of youth. So I decided to pray about it and ask God to help me. I had to challenge myself to say yes, and I decided to go, but it was hard. I had all this fear inside me that made me feel sick. And this feeling lasted for a while, but it became easier after a few weeks. It says in Psalms 50, uh, 34 verse 4, I prayed to the Lord and He answered me. He freed me from all my fears. I think this is a great verse. In this situation, God was just waiting for me to surrender my fears to Him. And ever since then, I've grown so much. Now, looking back, I didn't know how youth would help me, but by taking that blind step of faith, I discovered what Jesus could do in my life. And then when I got asked to do this preach, I was excited to prove to myself that God will get me through my nerves. As it explains in Psalms 56 verse 3, but when I'm afraid, I will trust in you. When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. And that is so important to remember that God is always greater than our outside problems. I think it's worth remembering that we can pray and find peace and comfort in God throughout the day. When you feel lost, trust that God will accept you and be alongside you through life, no matter the mistakes you have or will make. As Jesus has already forgiven and sacrificed his life, so we may all live in freedom. Putting God before my fears has been the biggest thing I've learned lately. It was amazing for me to surrender that fear in my mind that was blocking me from Jesus. I encourage you to think of what is stuck on your mind, blocking you from taking that next step that could grow your faith. What is stopping you from surrendering to God and trusting in Him? Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you what path to take. By trusting in God's path for you, even if it's out of your own understanding, will make you trust in the Lord. To take that next step of faith in your journey, whether it be praying to Jesus, putting your hands up as a sign of surrender, or beginning to study God's word in the Bible. Even though you may not know the outcome or what he'll do, it will get you close to God and that could be the best thing you'll ever do. Taking those tiny steps along the path God has created for you will produce a fulfilling life. From my experience, it's easy to say no, but moving past those fears into something greater of God's never-ending love and peace He has for you has been rewarding. Which brings me to my next point of never knowing what's possible with God by your side. For it says in Psalms 16 verse 8, I know the Lord is always with me. 
I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. When I realized the Lord was with me was recently when I stumbled across a list I'd written on my phone over a year ago. It was written one day when I wanted to declare some things and write them down at a time of trusting and believing in Jesus. I wrote, I will make a difference. I will make a difference to my school, to myself, to my friends, to my family, and to everyone I can. I'll make a difference to how people see the world. I can reflect and know I have done all of these things. And I encourage you to do this as well, because it is a great tool to declare, then in time look back and appreciate how God has moved in your life. With God by my side, I have broken through things I would have never thought possible. Then I wrote down some goals. Commit and tell someone I will go to youth group. Go to youth group just one night. Invite friends to small group. Take someone to youth. Text friends and ask if they will come to youth group. Even then, I wasn't going to youth regularly, but I decided to trust in Jesus to help me through my barriers. I remember it was one of the first couple of Sunday services I had been to, and I was thinking about how much courage the preacher had to get on stage. But I thought I could never be that brave, but something told me that I could do it. And here I am preaching to you guys. But back then, I immediately fought those thoughts and said to myself, I could never do that. And I was worried that people would judge me and I would make mistakes. But when I've got on my side, it seems so much easier. And now I've completed all those goals I wrote down and a lot more. Now this barrier I've pushed past today is another tick off my list that I never thought I would have completed. I know God isn't finished in my life and is not finished in yours either. So keep pushing your insecurities until till they are no longer. This is where we get to the hands-on, doing God's will to bring heaven down to earth. Sometime, when I trust in God, he uses us to inspire, disciple and love on people. Sometimes I complicate what God wants me to do when all he wants is for me to be a loving neighbor to the person next to me. We can take on being a loving neighbor, whether that be at school for a lonely peer or being the light for people in your family. We can do this by praying for them or inviting them along to a service and showing them how much we care and how much God has moved in our life. I struggled with this, thinking I wasn't Christian enough, but I am more than capable with God on my side. I encourage you to pray to Him when you are struggling. I encourage you to take that next step in faith by surrendering to Jesus and pursue God by setting a reminder to pray, begin studying God's word in the Bible with Bible plans, or serving in your community. He is waiting to be with you on the journey of life. And if you hear that voice in your mind telling you you're not ready or brave to take the next step, don't believe it, because our Father loves us no matter what, and you are capable of doing anything when you're alongside the Father. Now I'll pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that are watching. May we trust in you, Father, with all of our hearts and surrender ourselves to you. Thank you for continually, continually looking over us and wanting the best for us, so we may trust in you. I pray that you direct us on your path and may we continually pursue you by taking blind steps leading towards you, Jesus. And we all say, Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope what I've shared will help you on your journey of faith. Now we have praise and worship, and I would love you all to stand up and surrender to God, even if you don't know the outcome.